Hello there and welcome to my first video log from Japan, Kyoto. And this is my first vlog ever, so I don't know how this will turn out, but I want to try at least. And I am doing this in English because uh, if someone from the international house, if I, when, where I'm living, wants to watch this they can understand and maybe also some other people who prefer English so I hope you folks at home also are able to understand so let's start uh, well before showing you any places just so showing you my face <laughs> talking uh, I will tell a little about uh, trip from Finland to here and I came by a plane uh, Finnair, Finnair uh, straight from Helsinki to Osaka Kansai International Airport and I think that was very nice because uh, I didn't have to worry about the luggage being lost or having to change the uh, plane in the middle and also because the uh, flight was a bit tiresome. Uh, I had a small stress flu or something like that, so so it was nice that I didn't have to move too much. Just sit in the plane and relax and watch a movie and something like that. So yeah, and when I arrived in Kansai International, uh, well things were quite easy from there. Um, yeah, I just followed the English signs of immigration and such and then from Kansai International I took a Yasaka shuttle bus which was also nice. Uh, it drove straight from the Kansai International the, to the dormitory so I didn't have to try to find myself, find the route by myself and it was only 3,000 yen for a student so uh, about 22 euros or something like that so not too expensive and then with the Yasaka shuttle we arrived in Kyoto Sangyo University International House so let's take a small tour Um, the international house is there. You can get a better view soon. It has been a very nice place to live in. Um, when I first arrived, uh, well, they give, gave me instructions in Japanese, which <laughs> was quite a surprise at first because, well, I came uh, straight from Finland and uh, the language changed so usually you would go through these steps from the main door but it's silver week now so it's like a holiday uh, kind of like a golden week but not quite it's not uh, golden week is in the spring and uh, Silver Week is in the autumn, uh, I think not every year, so, but now it is. So the main door is not open, we have to use the back door and use the key card to get in. Uh, same thing also in, in the evening and weekends. So here we are inside the international house. And there is my shoebox. I will get my slippers and put my shoes there. Um, these are, I have borrowed these shoes from the international house, but at some point I will want better or at least cuter slippers. 
of my own. So there will be more about that at some point. But yeah, so now we are in the lobby area. There's the main door, main entrance, which is now closed because it's the silver week. Uh, and here is the lobby where in the beginning we hanged out quite a lot to get to know other people and residents of the international house. Uh, in the international house there are a um, lot of people from different countries, um, maybe something like 10 countries, uh, and also Japanese assistants five of them so it's nice nice to have them too and we have a TV and well it's not showing but we have a, a Nintendo 64 and Smash Bros there so yay for that <laughs> so this is the lobby uh, when we go from this door well there is a machine to get drinks from and when we go down the corridor a bit here's the tatami room you take off your slippers and this is a traditional uh, Japanese room with tatami on the floor and it's a nice nice place uh, to hang out and have some parties in and uh, yeah we have had some parties in here with the people so yeah that's that let's continue the tour mm. and sorry if the camera movement is a bit unsteady or <coughs> amateur amateur is ish because yeah this is my first proper vlog and I don't have a like the thing that shows you oh wait thing that shows you um, the pictures so I don't know if I <laughs> I uh, am in the camera or not but I hope the picture is fine <laughs> and here you can see the post boxes so everyone has their own own post box let's continue that's the first floor and this is the reception and the main entrance yeah now let's go up the stairs it looks kind quite uh, long because the stairs are just straight up there are no curves as in many other places. But my room is in the third floor where we are right now. Every floor has a communal area where there are people and then there's the communal kitchen there you can make food and then let's go to my room check my room <laughs> and it's almost in the end of the corridor but it's fine because there are <laughs> people hanging out in the commu community rooms uh, even late at night which is nice but there can be a bit of bit of noise sometimes so when the room is at the end of the corridor uh wrong key yeah this is my room right yeah uh <coughs> there's silence <laughs> you don't hear the noises as well which is kind of nice so welcome to my room now maybe I'll just show the room and not show my face. <laughs> There's the door. 
and we have two locked um, lockers and we have our own kind of a kitchen kitchenette with a bath thing and a sink food there <laughs> and there's my wardrobe and my side my side is the right one there's the bed my desk and we ha also have a balcony which is nice <sighs> if you want to have some fresh air just a bit there are some yeah there's there is a forest next to the eye house and another dormitory we are in the <coughs> next to the mountains which is very nice and we have another res uh, uh, now I forget the word residence resident yeah resident <laughs> in our balcony uh, there all the spiders and bugs in here are quite big uh, so if you like it or not that's up to you but yeah I don't like the spiders so yeah let's put that so we don't get any unwanted visitors we have a uh, Air, air conditioner. Hmm. Um, Thomas also lives here. Uh, he is from Finland. Two, which is nice. Uh, we were able to get get the same room um, because we wrote in the corner of the um, accommodation application that we want to be in the same room. Room, so that's nice. And well, this is of course important. The fridge, we have our own fridge in the room. Not many things in there, but it's nice. All those Japanese things, yeah. Maybe more about those another time. Freezer to uh, room phone, and we have our own bathroom too with the toilet and off we go so and shower so that's also very nice and I think that's about it in this room uh, the video is already quite long I think sorry about that but this is the eye house tour so I want to show you show you the places uh, one more thing to show uh, if I yeah one more thing to show which is the laundry room I don't know if that's really a point of interest but at least you get a, an idea of the place I'm living in and uh, all the things in here so I'm going there too. Uh, <laughs> here we go to one floor higher to the fourth floor. And this is the topmost floor. Um, here you can find the laundry room. Also, other people's room. Still, there are something like uh, I think uh, for thirty-four or something like that uh, international students, and I think plus five uh, Japanese assistants in here. So now we have arrived.
uh, in the laundry room, or not quite yet. Now we have arrived. You can do your laundry in here, <laughs> as the name implies. Uh, it's 200 yen for laundry, and then you can go either dry the laundry in these machines, dryer, or just for 100 yen, or just go outside. They don't want to <laughs> let us out. We are in a prison, prison in here, sort of prison. So here you can dry your laundry. And that's about it. I hope I remembered everything. And <coughs> yeah, this was the first vlog. I have no idea if this is <laughs> interesting at all or not but i hope you you got a general idea of the place i am living in and um, i will try to do these vlogs um, i don't know maybe weekly maybe bi-weekly maybe even more often i don't uh, depends on on the things i am experiencing here if there are a lot of uh, interesting things that I want to do a vlog about maybe there will be more but we'll see we'll see and of course if you have any any kind of ideas or suggestions uh, improvement ideas <laughs> uh, please feel free to comment um, if you want to see something uh, I have some ideas already for the vlogs like uh, uh, Mm, a trip to the Konbini, uh, uh, usual close, uh, um, a shop that is close where we can do our uh, <coughs> fast grocery shopping and uh, something about, yeah, I mentioned those slippers uh, earlier, so I might do a video about that too, and yeah, I, I have some things planned, but also, yeah, Feel free to comment and suggest. Uh, yeah. And I hope my English is not too bad for you. Uh, so. I think that was it for now. I don't know how to end this thing. But we'll see you another time. So. Bye.